So tell us a little bit about um, how you started in the industry. How did you get to where you are today? Um, so I started in 2005. And at the time, my late husband, Carlos Betts, and I were working on a book called Fat Girl, which was ultimately published in 2013. Um, but we were working, we were really inspired by these these two books called Porn Art One and Porn Art Two. Um, the photographer was Domain, I think. I don't know, it's a French artist, and he had his muse. And um, it was basically the books were just her. She was a main subject, and she was doing all these different like nude poses or flashing or fucking. Um, and we were just really inspired by that. So we were like, let's just work on our own project. He was a photographer and filmmaker, and I was his, you know, his muse. And the camera was the one consistent element in our relationship of 13 years so um we were compiling images for that book and he shot belladonna at the time for a japanese magazine and she saw my photo in his portfolio and she liked my look so we met and we proposed to her like do you want to shoot for this project the book project and she was super ahead of her time and she was like no i only shoot for my own stuff but do you want to do a sex scene with me and i was like uh what <laughs> I had never thought of doing something like that. Like, I didn't really even watch porn. Um, well, I was like, fuck it. Yeah, like, let me try this. Let me just see what happens. And, like, uh, it'll be, like, this funny secret I have. You know, like, oh, I was in a porn once. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually really loved it. Um, I, a lot of our peers at the time were also directors, performers, photographers. So it wasn't super outside of my like a uh, circle of, mm -hmm. of people that I knew, but, um, yeah, I had never considered doing porn. So yeah. Uh, so then after that, my friends were hiring me and it just it happened really naturally and slowly. Mm. So, I mean, for your first scene to be with like a legendary name, like Belladonna, that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. How, how was the scene itself? Like, how were you <laughs> feeling like walking into it and then how did you feel afterwards i love this question um walking into it i was really nervous i had been modeling for still photos and some video for uh five years at that time so i was comfortable being in front of the camera but um i never had sex with a woman <laughs> so oh, wow yeah <laughs> um but you know she's she was such a pro and she kind of led the scene. I haven't watched it in several years, mm -hmm. but um, she led the scene. I just, you know, we started kissing and I was just like, let me just dive in, eat her pussy. Like, mm -hmm. I know, I know what that feels like on me. So I think I did okay, but she, she definitely led the scene. I was fucking her ass with a glass toy at some point and I was just like, oh my God, this is going to break in her ass. Oh my, I was like so worried. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was cute. And then when I left, I just felt so like liberated and empowered and just like, what the fuck just happened? That's so cool. Um, but yeah, like my, my next projects didn't come to like, you know, several months after that. I'm not the... I'm not the performer who was like, when I turn 18, like, I'm going to do this or like have this goal, like I'm going to be a porn star. Like my route here was um, very curious and artistic. And that's just my route here. Mm -hmm. That's that's why like when people ask, like, how do you start? I'm just like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Google. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's got everybody because, you know, the origin story is kind of what I ask almost everybody. And everyone's is is often so different. Um, some people jump right in and they love it and they go right into like doing super hardcore stuff and they're all about it. Some people jump right in and they find that they're in over their heads and it's not suited for them. And, and some people have the privilege of being able to start slow and being able to be selective about what they do and, and only doing scenes when they're ready for it. Exactly. And that's the word it's privilege. I had my husband, I had my friends, um, I was able to be selective. I had another job at the time, so I wasn't, you know, like survival sex working. Mm -hmm. um, so fully privileged entrance. Yeah. And then how did your husband, like, how did you guys communicate about this? Um, was he very much involved in your decisions moving forward in the adult industry? Was he supportive? Yeah, he was like my my everything in all the ways. So he was like my manager, my uh, PR person, my agent, <laughs> all of the things so he would advise me like no you don't want to shoot with that person or yeah like do this it'll be good for like whatever and and like I said I had a lot of friends who were doing projects at the time mm -hmm. so um yeah I was able to take it you know project by project and also like internally like I had this moment where I was like okay I'm going to if I'm going to continue doing this what is the reason besides like being an exhibitionist besides loving to 
do sexual things and get paid. Like I love that part still to this day. Mm -hmm. um, what is going to be my, my, like, why am I con going to continue doing this? And that's when, you know, I was like, you know what? I want to represent a fat body, a fat sexual body on camera and um, to empower other fat people to feel like they're worthy of sexuality and being desirable. Which is amazing and I think is such a great mission and such a teachable moment for someone like me, you know, who came into this industry. I started working in porn in 2000, 1999, when I was 20. When was I 20? It was a long time ago. Anyways, <laughs> um, and, you know, I've just seen such a change in the way that we accept and embrace diversity. And that did not exist when I first started, you know, and especially with, you know, my mom, Suze Randall, who, you know, I mean, to be fair, like her time was different and, you know, she was picky about who she shot. And I, I think like saw the way that, you know, women's bodies were like, okay, they need to be like this weight, this size. And I internalized that, even mm -hmm. though I wasn't on that side of the camera at all at the time, like I internalized that. And, um, that, you know, gave me like struggles with my body image that I still have to this day. I'm better about it, but I still have it to this day. So like meeting someone like you who can like fully embrace and like love their body. And I had an interview with Carla Lane too, same thing. Like it's, it's very inspiring for me and, you know, for women everywhere, um, you know, not women just necessarily who like would call themselves fat, but just like women who just like, we seek this perfectionism that is just like so self-destructive, I think. Yeah. Um, porn, porn is part of media, whether people like to admit it or not. Um, so I think representation is super important. It's like what you just said like he's just seeing other people embrace their their body as it is um yeah so i i saw huge value in continuing to do the work the sex work um just to be a representation um, but you know i'm like i'm very light skinned it's like we have so there's so many layers mm -hmm. to um what is perceived as beautiful but um yeah i felt like my my fat body fucking and enjoying sexual pleasure um would be really impactful and it has been um to to all all different types of people yeah and also i wanted to challenge people if they didn't want to see me fucking then you know like not that they would but it can be an opportunity to for them to like examine why or just to like fuck with their head a little bit like you don't like it was a lot different now it's 2022 we're talking about the early 2000s mm. um the image the 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 mainstream cultural idea of what is perceived as beautiful has shifted. Back then, when I would just look up BBW, everyone looked the same. Mm -hmm. They were all blonde. They personally, they they all looked exactly the same. So I was like, well, there is a need for someone that looks a little bit different in this like a uh, genre. Let me let me do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. 